Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today we're talking about this baby. Yay! It's a PS5! Isn't she pretty? I've been playing on this baby for almost two weeks now and I thought it might be interesting for you to know what my experience was like, what equipment I got, what games were they playing, what was I thinking about that. Uh, I'm very narcissistic, I think you, you're interested in my opinion, so that's why I'm doing this video. <laughs> no jokes aside, I'm super hyped for the new console generation, it's here and it's amazing and I'm so, so sorry that it's um, so hard to get your hands on a console. To be honest, this is not my PS5. <laughs> my pre-order is still waiting um, and I have no notice when it will arrive. So yeah, I'm in the same boat, but I'm lucky. My uh, player two, aka boyfriend, yes, I got a boyfriend this summer, a lot happened. <laughs> he was lucky and got his pre-order on release date. It was a real big surprise, but it was amazing to start playing right away. And therefore we've been playing on this little machine or playing together with my PS4 and his PS5, so to say. Um, and yeah, it's been great two weeks. <laughs> but I got my pre-order for the headset, so there is a little video about that already um, on my channel. It's super short, it's just a one minute short video um, when I'm unpacking this and taking a look at it. And yeah, I've been using that for one or two weeks and also think it's super comfy and nice. And this is mine. And I also got a second controller for us, so I have my own controller and my own headset, but no console. But yeah, Player 2 is nice to share with me. Oh, and I got the game, so this is also my game. No console yet, but I have the game, <laughs> but yeah, we can play on his. Uh, it's Spider-Man Miles Morales, and we're currently playing the first Spider-Man. He's already, uh, he finished like the first 60% of the main quest. I'm totally in the beginning, because there was not that much time to play during the last a few days, because I actually had to work a lot. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing, it feels amazing. Let's talk about that later, but let's get maybe to the moment of opening the console. Let's be honest, the baby's big. It's, <laughs> it's huge. I knew that it was huge, and everybody is saying that, but it really feels different if it's in the room. It's like from pictures, from videos, you cannot comprehend the sheer size of that thing, but standing next to your TV and having it on hand, you realize, whoa, that's a effing huge console. It's, <laughs> it's so huge. And I was really afraid that I'm not able to uh, put it next to my TV because I also got a new TV. Yay! <laughs> but my TV was 11 years old, so I thought, yeah, for the no new console generation, there has to be something fresh in my living room. Um, I have a little snippet of here. It's a 65-inch um, <laughs> uh, Samsung Q70T. Um, it also supports very real, variable refresh rate, so hopefully when FreeSync G-Sync um, is, uh, yeah, enabled on the PS5, PS5 does not support it yet, um, but maybe it comes with a software update, the Xbox Series X already supports it. So, but if it comes out, I'm prepared. My TV can do it and it's big, it's a big telly. I always wanted to have the PS5 on day one because I thought Horizon Zero Dawn 2 would be um, yeah, release title. After postponing that, I was thinking about maybe not getting a day one and not getting a pre-order, but um, yeah, the hype caught me. The hype. There's no smart reason for me at the moment to get the PS5. My backlog for PS4 titles is so huge. And there's not that many titles out for the PS5. I can play almost all of them on my PS4. I could have waited longer, but you know me. It's, it's the hype. <laughs> and I actually never had an issue with the design. I like the design. I especially like that it's like a V-shape, so it's the symbol for Roman 5, like PlayStation 5. Of course, this is the disc version, as I have loads of discs that I want to play, but also Player 2 wants to play, so uh, there, getting just a digital version was no option. <laughs> and um, this destroys it a little, but like the digital version um, looks nicer in the V-shape kind of way. The symbol is, 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 you can feel it and see it in a, in a better way on that one. But I think you can still see what I'm yeah, meaning. Of course, immediately after unpacking it, we had to try out Astro's Playroom. And oh my God, it's, it's, I'm saying the same stuff as everyone is saying out there, 
but it's so true. It's such an awesome experience to have the controller in your hand and, and feel everything. It reminded me a lot of the Switch and the Switch HD Rumble. So I think for me, that the feeling of this being something new was not as big as for my boyfriend because he never noticed something like that or he never played like one two switch with the little rumbles and marbles that you could feel in the joy cons um and it's also enhanced it's a better version like playstation took what Ninten nintendo uh, built there and made it better and yeah but especially the adaptive triggers that's just so amazing when you're yeah getting ready for a bow shot and you feel it, you feel it with the trigger, you have to put the pressure in and it's also different for every situation and then you turn off the game or go into the main menu and then your trigger is just this really easy to press button and then, then you go back to the game and it's like, Ugh, I have to work to do this. <laughs> and um, I, I guess it could be a little hard on your fingers, so a little bit of finger training, but I think you can also um, lower the effect in the settings so you can turn it off or lower it and um, but yeah this baby here this controller this is the most next gen thing for me for this console of course except for loading time loading speed the ssd you notice it but it comes with a price i looked up um what an ssd enlargement costs and and, and then have, yeah an additional ssd you can put in there's only like two or three um, providers at the moment. There's only two or three models that have the speed that Sony uh, needs for it to run on the same speed as the internal SSD of the PlayStation 5. And those cost around 200 euros for one terabyte. So no thank you, <laughs> but the 600 or 50 or 680 gigabytes you get with the console are not enough. They are full so fast. Of course, you can always um, use an external drive, um, a standard USB drive for your PlayStation 4 titles. And there are not that many PS5 titles to fill it up. But I think it will be an issue soon. As long, yeah, when there are like three, four, five games out, and especially when the PS5 versions of all the games come out um, that you want to play, um, it will be an issue. So, hmm, let's see, maybe we have to pay an extra $200 just to put our games on an SSD. So Astro's Playroom, just amazing, loved the levels, loved all the nostalgia for the PlayStation and the feeling, my, my favorite um, <laughs> moment when you feel like the rumble in the controller is uh, in the ice skating level, when you go from like snowy ground and you feel the snow and then you go on, on ice skates because you're, you're touching the ice, you just feel it, you feel it, you feel this sharp, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot do it, I can't make a sound, that, but it feels just amazing, you, you're feeling that you're on the ice and it's so immersive. I also have high hopes for the 3D um, audio. I think they did not use it that much yet, but I noticed that you, in, in some games, um, I think in Spider-Man, you were noticing, okay, there's something going behind, uh, going um, on in the back and something's here. So you can, yeah, it's not just stereo, it's not just two ways, but you feel the um, echo in the room a little bit more, but this is, working with every headset. So you don't need the Sony headset for that, but I had no gaming headset. And this was 100 euros, which is a lot, considering it's just another accessory and the whole console costs just, just 500. Um, <laughs> um, but for a gaming headset, for a quality gaming headset, it's, I think, a decent price. Um, it's really comfortable. I like that you have all the buttons that you need to access all the functions on your PlayStation and it's also working with PlayStation 4 so I can use it for that as well. It's also working on the Switch, just to let you know, um, which is also nice and amazing because it comes with a Bluetooth dongle. You can just put it on your Switch or your smart TV, your Android TV, everything that has USB. It's not working on my Samsung TV, it's not recognizing it, but um, on a just general Android TV from, from other brands, it's working. And it's working on our consoles, it's working on my PC, so this is really nice. Unfortunately, no direct Bluetooth connection to your phone. So this is a little sad, but yeah. I especially like the option that you have like a chat audio or game audio panel here, so you can switch um, between the two of them. 
usually you had to go into options and set it there and change it and now you can just change it for every situation for every game because maybe your friends have a yeah, different qualities of microphones available <laughs> from the different games and the different play sessions and yeah, I like that it's handy and it's, it's there. I also love the, the, the off monitor switch so you can uh, monitor what you're saying so you can hear the microphone um, and, and, and your input so to say but it's also handy for when you're in a game and you want to hear what the outside world is telling you <laughs> because it's um, it's recording the outside world as well because the, the, the microphone is here, down here, and yeah, that's nice. The only bad thing actually is <laughs> that with Astro's Playroom, when you have to do the um, blowing um, 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 levels, something, yeah, where you have to blow into the microphone, um, you can do it on the controller. <sighs> I actually had to take my headset off and do it here. <laughs> that was a little stupid, but <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. And um, yeah, I finished Astro's Playroom. Yeah, I got all the trophies and the Platinum Trophy and I'm really proud of it. It's the second game I have the Platinum Trophy for, but it's just so amazing. It took me like six to seven hours. It's not that long of a game, but every minute of it was pure fun. So yeah, other games I started playing um, Bug Snacks. I tried it out. It feels a little like Pokemon Snap and it's cute <laughs> and I have to pick it up again but uh, Astro's Playroom and also Spider-Man were stealing the show a little bit. <laughs> Talking about Spider-Man, I don't know the English phrases for it, but uh, you have one mode with 30 frames per second and you can have a ray tracing and stuff like that and you have the fluent mode with 60 frames per second and I decided to try ray tracing and it's beautiful. Like one of the first things I did because I visited Manhattan once um, was climbing Empire State Building and just taking the same look as I did as a visitor, as a tourist there and um, also Times Square, like your first mission is on Times Square. It just like feels so amazing because the yeah the world feels so real and it's 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 just amazing to experience that and with the with the light with the atmosphere with the sunset going down and you see the raindrops you see your reflection <laughs> in the in the puddles and it, just for that and then swinging through the roofs and and, and b between the buildings and, and and feeling it and also having the adaptive triggers there it's yeah I like it a lot. I haven't played that much, but I will definitely continue. And another game that I got on sale is uh, Borderlands 3. I got it for like 10 euros, super cheap, or 14 because this is the deluxe edition. And the great thing about that is that you can play it in split screen two player mode. So I started playing that with my uh, boyfriend and it's really fun to play together. I'm the worst at shooters <laughs> because uh, yeah, I, at the aiming, it's it's like getting the aim right with the controller. It's really really hard, and I really miss uh, gyro aiming. And unfortunately, Borderlands does not support it. Astro's Playroom does, and but like PlayStation Four also supported it, and they never used it in any third party titles, not even the Sony titles. You can play Sony first party titles on PC with a PlayStation Four controller and use the gyro aiming or gyro aiming, and uh, you cannot do it on. PS4 itself, that's like meh. So I hope um, that at least Sony will do it for first party titles, but uh, yeah, in my perfect world you have the option for dry aiming in every shooter <laughs> that is out there. Um, yeah, I, I, I got Doom again, because I tried, tried out Doom Eternal and also got Doom for 5 or 7 euros digital on PlayStation 4, and yeah, I was so so bad at it that I bought Doom again <laughs> and a used copy for my Switch because it's gyro aiming. <laughs> I know it's not the best way to experience the game, but it's so much faster, it's so much more intuitive for me, and yeah, so fingers crossed for more gyro aiming on PlayStation 5. But it's fun, you get used to it, um, you have to get into the game, and it's, it's it's a good game to just start up for a little, play a little, play aside with each other. Um, it's bother smooth, it's um, on PlayStation 5, the loading screens are super fast, you have 60 frames per second for both players on both screens, and you can do it for up to four players. So the description comes with the PlayStation 4 edition, but then you can just put it in, install the PlayStation 5 edition. It sometimes then still tries to install the PlayStation 4, 5, uh, 4 version again. And I'm like, wait a second, I don't need that. There's the PS5 version. Why do you want to install the PlayStation 4 version again? Please stop it, please. And it happened two or three times, so that's a little eh. And it gets really, really loud, actually. Like the, the, <laughs> the drive can get really loud when it's installing and, and transferring data from it. Um, so, but otherwise it's, it's, it's really, really quiet and you don't hear a thing, but it gets hot. 
it gets hot. When you put your hand behind it, you can feel the, the, the hotness and the hot air behind it. But yeah, it's a little powerhouse. Of course, it's, it's heating up a little. And one of my favorite games this year was actually Fall Guys. I played so much Fall Guys, like 140 hours, just me and <laughs> another 90 hours on the profile for my boyfriend. And um, yeah, it's amazing to now be able to play together, like me on the PS4 and him on the PS5 or otherwise. And, and But just each one playing with their own profile together in the same match. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's it's just amazing, and I, I love it. And it, of course, Fall Guys is not a next gen PS5 title, but having the experience of that and and having yeah the possibility to share the game experience that's quite amazing for me. So yeah, that's it. My little love story for the PlayStation 5. The first two weeks, it's so fresh. We're still in our honeymoon phase. <laughs> so um, if you still have a pre-order pending or you're trying to get your hands on one, uh, my fingers are crossed for you. I wish you the best of luck. Um, um, yeah, and I'm also still waiting for my pre-order. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to answer, even if it's like something about the settings or something to look up. Um, I'm happy to do so. And yeah. Thanks a lot for, thanks a lot for watching. <laughs> and I will now return to playing Spider-Man, I guess. Bye-bye. Thank you.